Well, it's a beautiful day, and I have an announcement to make. I've come back to Nikon. Yes, the other day I bought a Z7 with, um, it was an open box Z7 with kit lens, uh, 24 to 70 f4 S lens. And my wife didn't like the idea of open box, so uh, I decided to step up to a brand new one and to go from the Mark I to the Mark II so that I could get a much cheaper FTZ adapter. So uh, when you buy the any of the Z cameras, you get to buy the adapter here in Canada for $129. So the lens and kit lens. And, uh, and I got uh, the Extreme Pro CF Express Type B card. It's on sale for a whopping $319.99 Canadian. But a uh, gift card helped me with that. And I still have this little L bracket called Fuga Sun, which is a very dirt cheap bracket, which I can use. The FTZ adapter, as I mentioned already, and a spare ENEL15C battery. So that completes my purchase. And, um, you know, I went out and I shot with the Z7 yesterday afternoon and evening. And I was just blown away by the color. The intensity of the color is just amazing. Um, and, you know, perhaps I'm upping my game a little bit because I feel the, the camera deserves, you know, more attention to detail uh, when you're crafting an image right better attention to getting sharp focus using base iso base iso on the z7 and z72 is only 64 iso so it's all good so uh, i'm kind of blessed to be able to do this at this time during the pandemic we're still not out of the pandemic i'm fortunate to still be working uh, very grateful for that and um, you know uh, hope to create some great images with this this combo of the uh, the Nikon Z7 II and 24 to 70 f4 uh, kit lens. Now I've created good images with this uh, combo before. It was the Z6 though, so I took the Z6 to Europe. Uh, I believe it was 2019, and uh, I got some great great images. Uh, out of the the Nikon full frame mirrorless. Now, do you need full frame? Well, that's an open question. Uh, I would say not necessarily, but uh, you know, if you want to do fine art prints and blow them up bigger than you know a couple of feet, then yes, uh, the extra megapixels will help and helps with croppability. Not that you should be cropping at all, but sometimes you will. And now you can, because <laughs> you have excess megapixels. You have megapixels to burn, really, uh, unless you're printing something really large. So that's where I'm at in my photographic adventures. Uh, <laughs> you know, I had the Canon system for, well, since December 20th, I think, is when I bought the, the EOS R, and I had the RP for about a week before that, maybe two weeks. And while I enjoyed the Canon system, and I certainly have access to a lot of Canon glass uh, from my workplace, I was just never completely at home on the Canon. Uh, I just find Nikon a little easier to use. Now, maybe it could be just I'm an old guy and I can't learn new tricks. I don't really think that's the case, but uh, I'm more used to the Nikon. With the Nikon, the camera gets out of the way and I can just shoot. With the Canon, I never really reached that level, uh, a lot, at least not with the mirrorless. With the uh, 6D Mark II that I'm shooting this with, uh, yeah, the camera can easily get out of the way with any DSLR, basically. You know, I'll, I'll just go to full manual mode. I have total control over ISO, shutter speed, aperture, and, you know, when you have plenty of time to compose your shot, that's an easy thing to do uh, if, if you're fairly experienced. Not, you know, I've been shooting for ages and ages. It doesn't make me better necessarily, but uh, more experience helps. Um, 
you know, it, it's always difficult as you get older to keep things fresh and interesting and to keep learning new things. So I'm trying to push myself. And uh, to that end, I, I bought a camera that, I, that doesn't need a lot of pushing. You know, it's uh, 45 point, what is it, 7 megapixels. And this one, you know, the 2, version 2, has got the dual processors. I looked at the delta between the two cameras, the original and the new. The delta is about 700 Canadian. And I figure, if you're spending close to 5 grand on a camera kit anyway, $700 isn't that much. Why not just get the better one and be done with it? And then you're not going to be second-guessing yourself because, you know, I often second-guess myself with gear. <laughs> That's one of the hazards of being a computer geek, I guess. I have the Mark II, and hopefully that's it, that's all, and uh, I'm going to stick with this camera for a good long time. You know, my earlier reservations about the Z-Series Glass, I've kind of lost those reservations. Uh, I've been following Matt Irwin on his channel here on YouTube. I'll put a link above here so you can, you can see some of his content. He's a very uh, inspiring uh, commercial photographer and fine art uh, photographer uh, out of Melbourne, Australia. He's propagated a lot of good information about Nikon. So Nikon is doing well here in 2021, and uh, I think they're around to stay for the long term. And, you know, there's more Z lenses coming out. I just ordered uh, a third-party Z-mount manual focus lens, the Kipon Elegant uh, 74 millimeter f2.4. Found a bargain on eBay, uh, Canadian seller, uh, Vancouver way. Uh, and picked it up for 300 Canadian plus shipping, which is, is pretty cheap for that, that piece of glass. So hopefully I will enjoy shooting with that. You know, as I said, I don't shoot a lot of action. I tend to shoot just about everything, but uh, my favorite subjects to shoot would be travel photography, <laughs> which you can't do much of right now. And, uh, you know, maybe pets and, and wildlife and, and landscape would be sort of the top areas and a bit of family stuff too but you know as an enthusiast uh, I don't have to worry about uh, using the camera to make money but I don't rule it out you know I'm still trying to figure out how to make some money with this thing but uh, you know maybe fine art prints is a way to to do that finally so stay tuned for that anyway uh, um, I suppose I'll do a camera review on this not that anything is really needed and nobody really cares what Jim thinks of this but you know uh, it's basically a Z6 with a better sensor in it and not quite as good video because you're you've got a lot more of a sensor in here so you have a, a couple of compromises on the video side well you know the video side for me I just use it for my tutorial videos on the Mac so I don't really care that much um, you know, the camera's sitting there on a tripod most of the time, <laughs> shooting uh, the Mac screen, because the Mac screen is so hard to record otherwise. So it's not like I need a camera that can do a lot of, uh, you know, action videos, and I'm not going to be buying a gimbal and doing all the B-roll that you see on various YouTube channels. It's like, you know, I can't compete with the stuff that's out there, so why bother? Specialize in something that I'm good at, which is, you know, giving you my opinion as a genuine enthusiast photographer who mostly shoots Nikon. And, you know, I dabble in Canon, Fujifilm, and a couple of other brands here and there. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I, I hope to, uh, to have some good images. Oh, if you're a trivia fan, you may note that uh, the Z7 II comes with the little uh, hot shoe cover. Now, Nikon's been leaving this thing out. I think from the D750 times, they were leaving this thing out of the, uh, the box. And now they're finally putting it back in again. It's kind of hard to get off. Uh, I don't know if it affects the weather sealing at all. But if you, know, if you use the flash a lot, you're going to want to pull this thing off anyway. Throw it in your bag. They're easy to lose, but, um, you know, it's kind of like the eyepiece. <laughs> you know, also easy to lose. Look, I, I still haven't taken the plastic off the the screen yet so oh yeah and I got a spare battery as well 
These are now the ENEL15C batteries, so you can actually charge one in the camera while you're charging the second one in a charger, which is nice. And, you know, you can power the camera with uh, USB-C if you want to. You can even do firmware updates uh, through SmartBridge through your phone, so I will be trying that, uh, assuming it needs a firmware update, I don't know. Uh, there is one firmware update for this camera since it was released, so I'll be uh, checking that thoroughly to make sure uh, that's not needed. Or if it is, I will be doing the update uh, post-haste. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. Fade out.